In this video, we're going to write a C program to count the number of words and characters in a file. So here I have a file with 12 words in it and some number of characters. And we want the C program to count the number of words and characters, and it'll put that to the console. We're actually going to accept the file name of the file to open as user input. So we'll create a car array called file name to store the file name that the user enters. We'll then prompt the user for the file name. So we'll have printf file colon to prompt the user for the file name. Then we'll use scanf to store the string that the user enters into the file name car array. Next, we'll try to open the file with this file name. We'll create a file pointer variable to help us do that. We'll have file star file to declare the file pointer variable, and we'll assign it the value of fopen file name r. So F open is going to open the file with the given file name in reading mode. Now, if F open fails, it's going to return null. So we'll check for that. So if file is equal to null, that means there was a problem opening the file. And in that case, we're going to print out the error message, error opening file, followed by a new line with printf. And we're going to return one. Returning one, instead of returning zero, is a signal to the shell, to the terminal, that something went wrong in the execution of our program. So at this point, we know that the file has been opened successfully. And now what we want to do is read the file one character at a time and analyze how many characters and words are in the file. So we're going to create some variables to help us do that. We'll create an int variable called C, and C is going to store the actual characters of the file as we read them one character at a time. We use int instead of car, because technically functions like f get c return an int type instead of a car. We'll also create an int variable called characters and set it equal to zero. And characters is going to store the running count of characters in the file. We'll also declare a variable called words and initialize it to zero. And words is going to keep the running count of words encountered in the file. I'm also going to include a few libraries to help us out here. So up here, I'll include stdbool.h so I can use true and false values and have a bool type variable. I'll also include the C type library because it has a function called is space that's going to help us to identify whether the character we've just read is a white space character or not. So down here, I'll make a bool type variable called white space and I'm going to initialize it to true. So as we read in the file one character at a time, we need to identify the individual words in the file in order to output a word count. So what we're going to do is use the switch from a sequence of white space characters to a sequence of non white space characters to identify that a new word is in the file. And then we're going to increment words when that happens. So next we'll make the loop to go through the file one character at a time. We're going to have while true, and we can use true because we included stdbool.h. We're going to read in the character with f get c. So we'll have c is equal to f get c file. So with each loop iteration, f get c is going to be called. And each time it's called, it's going to read in and return the next character in the file. So the first time it's called, it's going to read in this character. Then the next time it's called, it's going to read in this character, and then this character, and so on and we're gonna store those characters into C. Now, eventually we are gonna reach the end of the file and we'll check for that with the FEOF function. So if FEOF, when past the file pointer, returns true, that means we've reached the end of the file. And at that point, we want this loop to stop. So we're gonna have break here to stop the loop. Now, it's also possible that some sort of error will occur when reading from the file. This is unlikely, but we'll check for it using the F error function so we'll have else if f error when past the file pointer returns true. This means that an error has occurred when reading from the file. And in that case, we're going to output an error message and we're going to exit with an error status. So we'll have printf error reading file followed by a new line. And again, we're going to return one as an error status. Now at this point, we've read in the character successfully. And so we can increment the count of characters stored in the characters variable by one. Now for the word count, we're going to detect when a switch between white space characters 
and non-white space characters has occurred, and when a switch between non-white space characters and white space characters has occurred. And when we have a switch from white space to non-white space characters, we're going to increment words by one. So if white space is true, this means we've been reading in white space characters. Now to check if this next character that we've just read in, C, is not a white space character, we're going to use the is space function to help us. So the is space function is going to return true if the character is a white space character, like a space or a new line or a tab. So if we've been reading in white space and this character is not a white space character, that means we've just switched from reading in white space characters to reading in non-white space characters. And in that case, we're going to increment words. We're going to recognize this as the start of a new word. We'll also actually set white space to false because now we're going to say that we're not reading in white space characters. This sequence of characters is now a sequence of non-white space characters. So now we're able to detect once we've gone from reading in white space characters to non-white space characters. We also need to detect once we've gone from reading in non-white space characters to white space characters. So we'll have an else if case here for that. We'll have else if not white space is true and is space is true. So if we weren't reading in white space characters before, and now this new character here, C, is a white space character, we've gone from reading in non-white space characters to white space characters. And we're going to now flip white space to true. So white space is basically just keeping track of whether we've been reading in a sequence of white space characters or a sequence of non-white space characters. And whenever we switch from reading in white space to non-white space characters, we're acknowledging that as the start of a new word, and we're going to increment words in that case. So that's all we need for our loop logic here. Once this loop is complete, we'll have counted all the words and characters in the file. So after the loop is done, we can close the file because we're done working with it. So we'll have f close file. Then we can print out the results of our analysis. So we'll have printf analysis complete, followed by a new line. And then we'll print out the number of words and characters. So we'll have characters colon percent d backslash n, and we'll put the number of characters, and then printf words colon percent d backslash n, and we'll output the number of words. We'll save this and then compile our program and we'll give it a try. So for the file, I'll enter in file.txt and we get back 12 words and 70 characters. Now I can tell just by looking at it that that is the correct number of words, but for the number of characters, that's a bit harder to count. So let's just make a smaller file.txt. So we'll just edit it here. I'll just have, let's say A and then a new line and then B and then a new line and then we'll have C with two more new lines. So here we should have A and then a new line, which is two characters, B and then a new line, which is two more, so we're at four, C and then a new line, so we should be at six, and then we have one more new line. So we should have seven characters total. So we'll save this, and then we'll run a program again. I'll enter in file.txt, and we get seven characters total, and we get three words here. Now notice these aren't really words. Things like one, two, three will also count as words. So if we run this again, we'll get words four now. We're gonna say that that's okay though for the purposes of this program. To do very, very accurate word detection would be a much more extensive problem to solve. This will give us a good approximation though of how many words are in the file. And we might actually wanna consider things like this words for our purposes anyways. So this is how we can count the number of words and characters in a file using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.